All right, welcome to the Hilton Chicago O'Hare International Airport. Um, this is the on-site hotel here at the airport. There's a number of hotels within the um, direct vicinity here, uh, all about a short shuttle ride away. But this is the only on-site um, airport hotel. So I landed on American here in Terminal 3, maybe a five-ish minute walk to get here to the airport all through an underground tunnel. So very, very convenient. Um, checking in, I checked in on the app yesterday and I selected a corner room. So let's take a look at that here on the map. I'm in this very corner over here. Um, this is the airport side, the runway side. The other side is the non-runway side. I have to say it's a little frustrating using the Hilton app because um, basically, this entire side here, the one that I'm on, was sort of open for selection. You can select your room, whereas the other side uh, had a fee to it, and I'm a Hilton Diamond. So I would have appreciated selecting one of those rooms. They say it's based upon availability. I, you know, it was trying to charge me 20 bucks to select the room. I think it easily could have let me do that uh, when I checked in, but... I guess it is what it is, but it is a corner room, which is nice. It's a little bit uh, less noise on either side. Um, one of the nice things about this room is there is multiple windows. So here we've got a view here uh, right of the terminal down there. I think that's United. Um, so it's kind of cool here to have this sort of airport view. Um, so let's take a look here. We'll come right in. We've got a safe here on the wall. We've got a closet here, luggage rack, ironing board, and then a relatively small bathroom, sink, there's some toiletries here, toilet, uh, there is a shower, you can tell everything in here is very aged, kind of worn, um, definitely not a new hotel by any means, but I guess it gets the job done. Um, one of the things I'll mention, uh, since I was just in the bathroom, there is there is a notice that was slid under the door, and one of the things that was um, presented to me at check-in, they are shutting down the hot water um, at 9.30 tonight and won't resume the hot water till 5 a.m. This is real frustrating. I was uh, at Disney World this morning in Orlando. I want a shower. It's currently 8.35 at night. To not have hot water is just kind of inexcusable to me uh, without any sort of notice. And actually, funny enough, when I was checking in, there was a gentleman checking in next to me that uh, was asking to cancel his reservation and move to another Hilton. So they definitely could have been a lot more proactive about that. Um, I understand stuff happens, but let people know. Uh, so they can, you know, make alternate plans if need be. Let's take a look here at the main room. So over here, we've kind of have this little wet bar area, ice. Uh, there is a coffee maker. There is a refrigerator down here. I was given two bottles of water to check in. Uh, one of the nice things as a diamond, I get a food credit, $18. That could be used in the market for breakfast, um, whatever I wanted. And I will say that's one of the things that Hilton does well. So tomorrow I'm not going to eat breakfast but uh, I will likely want something for dinner tonight. And so I can use that credit tonight. I'm not obligated to use it for breakfast like most hotels. Uh, we've got this kind of weird, I think it's a lounge chair. I'm assuming this sort of reclines. Oh yeah, it does. Kind of a large recline there. Uh, over here, we've got the bed outlets and the lamp there. Just a normal king size bed, television over here, another nightstand over here. So, um, this is a good room only because it's got the corner here and I can look out right towards the airport. So I really appreciate that. And, and in fact, the kind of the runway view on the other side probably is just as good as this, to be honest. This side here is the parking lot. So that's not really an interesting side, but uh, it's sort of this other angle here. You've got a view of the terminal. So um, that, in my opinion, is uh, worth it. Uh, this room here, about $200 for the evening. It's expensive. I need to be here um, to meet someone tomorrow, and then I'm coming back here for an early flight on Wednesday, so it only made sense to stay at the airport. Uh, the flight on Wednesday is early. I wanted something on site. I've never tried this hotel before. Um, I'm a new Hilton Diamond, thanks to the credit card, so I wanted to just, you know, kind of try this out, and I did look at the rates of the 
Hyatt nearby and some other Marriott's. The Hyatt was the lowest I could find was around 160, 170. You know, this is just a little bit more and, and a lot more convenient. I did see some Marriott's hovering in the 100, 110, 120 dollar range. Uh, sure, those would have been fine, but I, I kind of wanted the convenience here of being on site. So this is just kind of a trial, uh, looking out at my uh, Hilton Diamond status just to just to see uh, what it's like. And um, this is, I think, my first one of my first days as a Hilton Diamond. I was at the um, Hilton Waikiki, and there may have been another property as well, the uh, Beverly Hills uh, Hotel out there as well. So. Not the first, but one of the first. So this is the uh, Hilton Chicago O'Hare International Airport. About 200 bucks here for the evening. I'm here for two nights. And I selected a corner room here that has a great view of the terminal.